Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel with Christian Mechanic. Uh, today I got this uh, another ratchet for you today. This is the Thorson ratchet. This is a 3H drive. Um, we're going to get the length of it. Um, we're going to go with, it's about seven, we'll say seven and a half inches. Seven and a half inches long. Uh, got gnarling on the handle and this gnarling is uh, very, very good, very grippy. Um, like I said, I got a little bit of oil on my fingers and everything, and I'm getting tons of grips. This gnarling feels good. This is a Thorson uh, MPD. I think that's what it says, USA, but the model number for this is a 77J. And this is an, uh, this is an open head ratchet. Um, and then we got the reverse, your reverse and your forward right, or your, you can switch them from right here. And uh, we get a tooth count real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, messed up. Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And yeah, we'll go with eight. Eight and eight is 16. 16, 16 is 32. So this is a 32 tooth uh, ratchet. Um, it's a coarse ratchet. Um, these ratchets are good. The only thing is you don't want to um, be using these in a very dirty environment because then you say you use these outside, you drop it in dirt, drop it in, um, you know, anything can get up in there, rocks, pebbles, if you're working outside with it, like I said, but it is easy to clean because um, it's exposed, so it's easy to get something up in there to clean it. Uh, to get this uh, piece here, it's a shield off. It's uh, I had an idea. I was watching a couple other people who have the uh, same ratchet, and I, I had a different idea. I was at work looking at this today, playing around with it. So what I, what I was thinking is you shove something up under this side, and then you shove something up under this side, and you just slide it forward, and it should, uh, should come right off. I just had it. There you go. <laughs> Man, probably be easier to slide it off the back. Let's try that again. Let's try it this time. We're going to try and uh, we'll slide it off the back of the ratchet instead of in the front of the ratchet. So we'll stick something there. We'll stick something under this side. Like that. And we'll try and slide it off the back of the ratchet. Mm. That's not working as easy. I thought it was going to come off a whole lot easier than that. Uh, yeah. Definitely thought this was going to come off a lot easier than this. There we go. Oh my gosh. Got it. Okay. There we go. So anyway, I was looking at this, uh, this pin right here that this, uh, pole that's held onto, and I can't really tell how it's held in there. Now I was pushing on this thing and I was getting some play back and forth. So somehow it's, uh, it's held in there somehow. I'm just not real sure if it's a press press fit some if it's a press fit inside this uh piece right here i tried tapping on it a little bit but it didn't uh didn't really want to come out um now this anvil looking at this anvil right here and it looks like it is probably drove in this way so i'm sure if you get uh some kind of press or whatever whatnot you could probably press this press this piece out this way and knock it through i've seen another uh ratchet that was similar to this that had a snap ring on the front and it was just a square a square sorry square drive over top this anvil so like i said if i was gonna get this apart there's no way to get this apart it has to be pressed in one way so i mean i'm thinking it was pressed in from the back pressed in this way to the front so you could probably press it out that way and maybe once you um you press that out um might be able, you might be able to find a way to get this switch out because like I said I'm not real sure how this uh 
switch is held in there and I'm thinking this is probably uh, pressed in as well. There's something in there holding it. I was trying to look to see if there's some kind of switch or something, but I can't really, uh, my, my flashlight's super bright. I really can't tell. There could be a snap, snap ring on this side back here holding it in there. Um, so it's kind of hard to hard to see, but there's something right there. I can see something right there. Yeah, there's some kind of ring right there. I think it's a snap ring or one of those C-clips because I don't see nothing on the other side. The other side, it's, I got it flat up against the front of this thing. So there's some kind of uh, clip in there. So you could probably make some kind of some kind of tool to slide wedge your wedge your way back in there with it and see if you can get get inside here and press it off maybe some make us some kind of little shim to get that out if you really want to get that out but this ball is good you can see there is a detent detent down inside here i'm sure it has a spring on it um really kind of hard to say it's a pretty it's a pretty big ball in there so it's a big ball detent down at down inside there we're just going to go ahead and I'm just going to add a little bit of oil to the inside of this detent down here on this ball. And then we're just going to go ahead and put a little bit of grease around this wheel at the top or oil, whatever you want to use. But I'm going to try and get, see if I can work this oil down in there. And I already, before I started this video, I already pre-lubed the, uh, the ball detent. Uh, put some oil inside the ball detent. Uh, Go ahead and clean this off. And I actually had another idea on how to get this, this piece back over it. And I got a vise here. I was thinking about maybe if you could uh, put this on the back of the vise, maybe you could squeeze it, squeeze it on with a vise. And just uh, use the vise to push it back on. But um, I'll try that off camera because uh, I don't know how that's going to go. And if... If it's going to be a good idea or not, we're just going to put some of this uh, super lube in these teeth. A little bit of this in there, if I can. Uh, also, these uh, these pole here looks like you got two teeth per side. Sorry, you got two teeth per side of the pole here. And as you can see, everything works good now. All right. Um, actually, if you guys want to try and show you, maybe, uh, we'll go ahead and give this a try and see, uh, if I can do this or not. It's just an idea I had. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to work very well. Oh, I think it might work. There it is. Woohoo! Alright, I got it on. Now we just use the uh I got it on that far and now we'll just use the uh tool to pop it. Use those little picks and stuff. I can pop them back on with the picks here. Yeah, I'm just getting in front of this a little bit. So, a little bit. Try it. Sorry, people. I'm getting off the camera here. There we go. That was easy. There's that. Just got to get it. Make sure it's in there. Now, I've seen the video of the guy who had uh, Snapper in Chronicles. He has a video of it. And his actually comes down a little bit more and covers the gears a little bit more these are exposed actually uh, his shield actually came down and went over top the gears a little bit better so it was it would help keep the uh stuff out of the gears so i mean that would that's a benefit to having in the uh, that piece of shielding in there now uh, if you had it a little bit longer you could use it to get it down and use it to cover the gears but just wanted to show you, like, uh, like I said, I wanted to try, try something different to uh, get that, get that off. 
it worked pretty decent and then get it back on because this thing here is pretty it's under a lot of tension so that, that worked out pretty well also uh, for my next video for tomorrow however harbor freight was closed today but i was going to go back this is another ratchet i have from work this is uh another uh composite ratchet let me back out a little bit it's way too close here's another composite ratchet this one has a, a offset on it here on the handle i'm not sure the offset but anyway the uh as you can see all the uh the gripping and everything has all uh, all ripped off um so i'm gonna go ahead and see if they'll let me get a new one the new ones are i think the colors are a little bit different the grips are different this one's old but this one i've had taken apart and i put uh grease you can see it's a 72 tooth ratchet but and it works it works fine i just uh want to get a new one this one's been through a lot at work and like i said it's been nicked up and banged up and starting to fall starting to fall apart so i'm just going to go ahead and i'll if i get a new one of these i'll be able i'll be uh doing a video of this maybe tomorrow or something if i can get it but anyway this wanted to share this ratchet with you guys and um uh, thank you everyone uh for watching and uh have a blessed evening thank you